Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today I want to continue to talk about limits at infinity. So if you look at this rational function here, this, the numerator, the degree for the numerator is three, and then the degree for the denominator, it's also three. So the top and the bottom have the same degree. And we want to see what this function is approaching to when x is approaching infinity. And as you can see here, if we plug in the infinity at the top and in the, at the bottom, let's say if we have both x approaching infinity, actually we cannot really plug in infinity because infinity is, in, is not a number. Um, if you just think about x approaching infinity and x approaching infinity here, you can see that the x cube is also approaching infinity and then we have infinity subtracting infinity. That's a form that's indeterminate. So we actually have no information. So even though we have all addition at the bottom and everything is positive at the bottom, and what happened is that we do have the bottom approaching infinity, but we have no information at the top. So how can we do this problem? We are still going to use the usual strategy of evaluating limits at infinity. Um, that's when we try to factor out the highest power of x from both the top and the bottom and then see what's going on. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first, we are going to look at the highest power of x for the top, which is x cubed. So we are going to factor out x cubed from the numerator. so that we get x cubed right here. And then what do we get inside the parentheses? Um, let's think about this. We have 7x and we factor out at x cubed from the 7x. So in this case, we actually need an x squared in the denominator so that you can get an x when you distribute the x cubed back to whatever that we are writing here. And so that would actually be 7 over x squared. Okay, so that's 7 over x squared right here. And as you can see here, if you multiply the x cubed with the 7 over x squared and then the x cubed and the x squared, if you reduce the fraction, then you are going to get the x. Okay, so what about this turn here? The second turn, we are going to be getting minus. Now, because we factor out the x cubed, so we are just getting a 3. Okay, so that's the numerator. And then we are going to do the same thing for the denominator. We factor the highest power. In this case, it's also x cubed. So let's factor that out. Okay, so if we factor out um, the x cubed, then we are going to be getting um, the four, okay? As you can see, 4 times x cubed will give us back the 4x cubed. And then continue. Plus, we factor the x cubed. So we are going to get 5 over x. And then continue to factor the x cubed. If we factor the x cubed from the 2, we are going to get a fraction with the x cubed at the bottom. So 2 over x cubed. So that's all that, that we have here. OK, so now you can see that. Um, we have x cubed at the top and also x cubed at the bottom. We can cancel them out. Okay, so if we cancel them, then we are going to be just, just getting um, all this stuff. And we can actually start considering all these fractions right now, all these fractions here. Um, let's take a look. So if we look at this 7 over x squared right here, remember we still are having x approach infinity. So let's do the work on the side. Um, as x approaching infinity, then what happens? Let's look at that 7 over x squared. The 7 over x squared. Um, so the top is approaching 7, as you can see here, and then the bottom is x squared. And x is approaching infinity, so x squared is also approaching infinity. We're actually having the form of 7 over infinity, so in that case, 7 over x squared is approaching 0. Okay. Now, the next one, the next one is the 5 over x, because the negative 3 is just the negative 3, and then the 4 is just the 4, right? So we don't need to worry about them. And then now we look at this 5 over x. This 5 over x is actually um, similar to the 7 over x squared. When x is approaching infinity, we have 5 over a really big number. So 5 divided by a big number, this fraction is also approaching 0. Okay, next one. Next one is the 2 over x cubed right here. 2 over x cubed. 
Same situation here, that's also approaching zero. Okay, so that's approaching zero, that, that's approaching zero, and then this fraction is approaching zero. So now what do we get here? Um, that will actually give us a new limit problem. And what really happens is that that's approaching zero. So we are going to put the zero here, right? So we have the zero and then we have the minus three. Okay, and then now the denominator. And then what do we get here? The, um, at the beginning, we have the four, right? That's the four and then plus plus the five over X, which is approaching zero. So we get the uh, zero here and then plus, what about this two over X cubed? That's also approaching zero. So we get that here. And so see what's going on here. We actually have what, what is the limit here? Negative like three over four. So the final answer is like the three over four. And so as X approach infinity, this rational function is approaching like the three over four. So that's it for this problem. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel and share my videos to others. It will give me a lot of support and make more videos. If you have questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. I really appreciate that. You help me.